The following review has been approved by Lord Carnage and the best of Classic Game Room. It's Gigawang Generations for the PlayStation 2. The Gigawing series has consistently been one of my favorite vertical scrolling spaceship style shooter series out there. I played and reviewed the first two games for the Sega Dreamcast. They're incredible. This one is not quite as incredible. I'll get that out of the way early. It's not as good as the first two games. But still worth playing if you're a fan of the series and the genre, if you can find it for a good price, it's actually gotten pretty expensive out there. I'm playing the Japanese version of the game on my Japanese PlayStation 2. We've got four spaceships to choose from, each with different speeds and shot patterns. I think this was released in Europe, although I'm not entirely sure. I don't believe it came to the US. What makes it a Gigawing game, in addition to the insane scoring... You'll rack up points in the bajillions... Which isn't even a real number. You charge up your ship and bounce the enemy shots back into their face, dropping medals and scoring huge points into the bajillions. The more medals you collect, the higher your multiplier, so it's in your best interest to shoot as many things as possible and collect those precious medals. But beware, this is a bullet hell style shooter. The screen quickly fills with bullets that are all trying to kill you. Which is why charging up your ship is so handy, because that makes you temporarily invincible. And that means you can just charge into enemies, pound them with lasers, and collect those delicious gold medals afterwards. Managing your special charging power is pretty much the key to the entire game because you don't want to get into a tough situation without it. By level 4 you'll have no choice as you're hammered with endless bullet hell shot patterns. And there's one more after that, making five levels total. It's a fun game, however, it just happens to follow on the heels of two of my favorite Dreamcast games. So my expectations were probably unrealistically high going into this one. Also, the PS2 is an inferior piece of hardware compared to the Dreamcast. That's right, I said it, but you know I'm a Sega fanboy. I'm also a Gigawing fanboy. So I'm picky. The music's not as good as the first two games, the level design and visuals aren't as good. This is like ordering pizza from that place down the street that's not quite as good as your favorite pizza shop. But you're trying something different and it shows up and they forgot the pepperoni, it's a little greasier than you like it to be, but it's still pizza and you're hungry. That's Gigawing Generations. I didn't get a chance to mess around with it, but you can play two players simultaneously with a friend on screen at the same time, and there's a tag team mode. You can also adjust all of the difficulty and player stock settings, and the four ships really mix up the gameplay and the different ways that you can enjoy Gigawing Generations. So don't take my critical comments here as saying this is a bad game and you shouldn't buy it, but make it the last of the three Gigawing games that you buy. After you waste the end boss at the end of each level, that's when you score the really big bonus points. Obviously the game saves your high score, and frankly I've had a great time with Gigawing Generations. I don't regret buying it at all. And if you're a fan of the Gigawing series, I think you'll like this one, but you'll probably feel the same way that I do. There's just something missing here in addition to the fact that it's not on the Dreamcast.
Like a lot of these games, I find it's best not to move around a whole lot. That reduces the risk of flying into some enemy laser fire. Also, if your eyes are tired, it's tough to tell the difference between the medals that you're supposed to collect and the enemy shots that you're most definitely not. It's Gigawing Generations. When do we get another one? Get this series back on the Dreamcast. The best of classic game room is on DVD, Blu-ray, and Laser Hyper Vision album set.